Hey everybody, my name is Tim Schwalk. I'm producer on Heroes of Ruin at InSpace. I'm going to give you a quick demo of the game today. Heroes of Ruin is a completely original, feature-rich action RPG created from the ground up exclusively for the Nintendo 3DS. I'm really excited to show you a little bit about the game. In this demo, I can choose from the Vindicator and the Gunslinger. The Vindicator is really cool because, you know, he's really strong and he has this giant sword. I'm going to go ahead and choose him for the purposes of this demo. Uh, you can see here I'm customizing my Vindicator. We offer so many choices that I can make him look extremely unique. If four of us wanted to choose the exact same character in the same game, we could do that, and we'd still look visually unique. So I'm looking pretty cool here. We'll go ahead and start the game. My quest is to track down the dangerous Leviathan and defeat him once and for all. I'm going to speak to Solon. He's one of our main story characters in the game, and he's going to give me a few more details about the quest. Goodbye. Thank you, Solon. Okay, so here we are in combat. You can see these enemies have a variety of attacks. I've got to especially be careful with the guy over here on the right, the Witch Doctor. As you can see, it says he casts Poison Clouds, and sure enough, there's a Poison Cloud right there. So I want to get rid of him as quickly as I can. Uh, these guys aren't too difficult. I'm just using a combination of my uh, default attacks and my charge. You can play any game up to four players, either Wi-Fi or locally. We have voice over IP communication, so you can talk to your buddies over Wi-Fi. Um, one second, because I remember Solon said the pirate captain would be in the ship somewhere. I'll get back to multiplayer in a second. Here he is. Okay, so this is Captain Skullrot, uh, the mysterious ghost captain of the, of the pirate ship here. Solon mentioned that I'd have to get a song from him and have to learn that song in order to, uh, to call the Leviathan. Okay, now that red effect around the screen is when I'm, when I'm in danger. I need to use one of my potions there. It looks like he has a fear ability I need to be careful of. Whenever you see my character do that, he's hitting me with his fear effect or his fear power, and I have no control over my actions, and I'm fleeing him in desperation. But, yep, he got me again. Never fear. I will take score right out. I'm actually quite good at this. Great. So not only did I defeat him, I also leveled up, meaning I now have access to additional powers and updated stats. So basically right now I can assign points that I've earned into Might, Vigor, or Soul. I'm putting mine into Might because I really want to increase the damage that I'm dealing. I'm also going to come in here and I'm going to purchase an additional power. When you level up, you're in a point that you can put into a power you've already earned to power it up, or you can buy an additional power. And right now I'm probably going to buy one to help me do some crowd control. So I'm going to get the Radiant Wave power. This is really cool. Oh, i got to read the, uh, the pirate's log. And uh, right now I'm learning the song to call the Leviathan. And now, from what Solon told me, all I have to do is find the mouthpiece to the horn. And the Tiber Hornblower has that, so we've got to go off and find him. Another thing we're really proud of is our dynamic dungeon system. We could replay the same demo 20 times, and you'd actually see 20 different level layouts. Not only that, the enemy encounter groups are random as well, so you know I could join my buddy in a dungeon I've already played and still find it fresh and exciting because I get a new experience. And speaking of random, we also have secret areas. I just found a secret area. And these are sprinkled throughout all the different levels as well. Lots of great loot in here, and uh, you know, we can have enough in this one room for uh, an entire party of four. So I'm going to run through here and grab all the loot I can. This is one of my favorite parts because we have no shortage of loot. You'll find over 80,000 different items in our game. Believe me, you'll never find them all, even though you may try, as I do. I want to talk a little bit more about multiplayer as well. Let's say someone were to jump into the game that I'm in right now. That's completely possible. We offer seamless drop-in, drop-out multiplayer. It doesn't matter what level they are, doesn't matter um, how much progress they have in our story, they could be at the end of the game, they could be at the very beginning of the game. Uh, you can join my game, it's going to automatically update the difficulty on the fly. And you know that's going to continue happening as people drop in and out of the game. It's going to ensure a really fun experience regardless of the number of heroes involved. That's something we're really, really excited about. So here we are, we found the Tiber Hornblower. This is the horn we have to grab to be able to summon the Leviathan. Okay, well it's going to be a little bit trickier with these Hell Jaws here. So I'm going to use a mix of some of my new and old powers. So you saw right there was a new power I purchased earlier with my skill point. And he keeps blowing that blasted horn and, and uh, making these guys enraged. So I'm going to try and get him as best I can. But as you can see, uh, he actually jumps around the level as I'm chasing him around. I've got to stay clear of these guys. These guys are awfully strong. So I'm going to also try to mix in my other power. The really cool thing about my default power with the Vindicator is that um, it'll actually stun whichever enemy I hit with it. You probably noticed I had to use a health potion right there. Uh, we've got health potions mapped to left on the D-pad, energy to right, so they're right there next to you and really easy to access whenever you need them. All right, take that. Okay, just you and me now. There we go, so I've got him stunned and now I can just wail on him with my sword. I almost got him. Not so dangerous now without the hell jaws, huh? Great, so now that we've defeated the Hornblower, I'm gonna grab the horn. 
There we go. So now that I've got the horn, we just need to track down the Leviathan and we can see about summoning him. Okay, so here we are, the lair of the Leviathan. All right, so I've got to put the mouthpiece on this giant shell and then play the song we learned from the pirate captain. This is about the time you gotta be wondering what you've gotten yourself into. As you can see, the Leviathan is huge. He's a lot of fun to fight against as well. Unfortunately, we're not gonna feature the entire Leviathan fight in this demo today. I do wanna thank you so much for checking out our video though, and please watch for Heroes of Ruin coming in 2012 exclusively to the Nintendo 3DS.